So, Lewis, I, I wouldn't normally do something like this, but um, I want to put a private, personal question, I guess, in a way to you. Over the past two days, every cabinet minister, including you, has come out to essentially defend the Prime Minister and Matt Hancock. The pictures that we saw were of an encounter on May the 6th. On May the 11th, my family buried my daughter, uh, who had died not of COVID, but during the lockdown. 300 of our family and friends turned up online, but most of them were not allowed to be at the graveside, even though it was in the open air, because of the rule of 30, because of the instruction by Mr. Hancock. Now, the next time one of you tells me what to do in my private life, explain to me why I shouldn't just tell you where to get off. But look, I, I absolutely accept and understand the frustration, even the anger that people have, having been through the situations they've been through. Look, as you say, Trevor, people across the country, I've lost friends whose funerals I've not been able to go to over the last period. That is such a tragic situation for any of us to be in. And that's, I have to say, why it's so important. All of us do what we can to keep ourselves, our families, our friends, our wider community safe. It's also why that what Matt did was wrong. He, he, he acknowledged that. It's why he apologised immediately for his behaviour and acknowledged what he did was wrong. And it's ultimately why he's taken the decision that his position was untenable and distracting from the wider work that we've all got to do to move forward in the pandemic and out of the pandemic. There's, there's no getting away from that. And I think that's why Matt ultimately made the decision he did. As I say, I think in doing that, he has put his family and indeed all of us across the UK first because he wants the focus, as the PM does, as we all do, to be on getting out of this pandemic in the best possible way and as quickly as we can.